Hello and welcome. Today we're at Billund Airport in Denmark and we're about to take a look around the amazing Lego store that they have there. So first thing first, this is actually on the way out. So this is for the departure lounge area. This is where you get your departure flights. So you can't just come into the airport and then just walk around and pick, pick and choose the sets and things that you want because you actually need to go through security and all that side of things to then be able to get to this. So this is just something for everybody to pick up before they get onto the plane, just in case you think you can come in. So we are gonna take a full look around and see what sets they have on offer, including some of the exclusive sets that they've got. And also we take a look at all the massive and special models that they've actually got dotted around the airport as well. So it's a nice chunky video. You got me for about 20 minutes and in the last five minutes, what I will do is I will pan around every single plexiglass clear case. So you can have a look at all the models that are on display. I think I missed some the first time around. And then you can have a look at all the models and everything at the airport as well. So have you been to Billund Airport have you picked up the exclusive set did you know that this set actually existed at this location and also did you know this store was here as well because I think it's quite nice that they do have the Lego store here obviously because of where it is and everything else but this does make it shop number five so you've got one at the Lego house you've got one at the Lego Castle Hotel one at Legoland itself one at the Lego Hotel this will be the official store number five and then in the center of billand as well you have got a big toy shop that sells a huge amount of lego so there's like six at least six places that you can buy lots and lots of sets from but this one obviously the prices are slightly different because you don't pay the duty and things on them so that's also something to consider now Obviously, what you can do is you can buy the bigger sets and then just carry it on with you because it isn't classed as a carry-on bag, as somebody did let me know in the last video that I did on this. So I am quite surprised, and I did say in the voiceover last time that I was quite surprised that they had the really big uh, UCS sets and everything there rather than having sort of hand luggage sets. But it is what it is. You can take it on as long as it goes underneath your seat, which I don't see how a Falcon, for example, could. So I don't even know where they would store that on the plane. So that's my first question. Have you bought the Falcon or a massive Star Wars set from this shop? And if you did, how did you manage to get it on the plane? Because obviously those boxes are absolutely massive. So that is a question that's been bugging me for a good while. I'd love to know how you guys and girls do it. So just let us know in the comments below how you get on and what you did. But this is a fully stocked shop. Now this was filmed at the start of May and there is a lot of obviously a lot of bits and pieces that came out around that time as well so we have got lots and lots and lots and lots to look at and they do also have a clearance section at this shop and it seems to be a lot of the super marios are in there and a couple of the older art bits it's also quite nice that they just have some of the lego classic bits and pieces where you can just get the old big base plates and obviously the just normal color bricks as well but that's what it says. So if you spend 69 euro or 500 Danish krona, you get a 20% discount on anything. So that is a huge, huge discount. So you get 20% off all the larger sets, which will will add up. If you if you if you imagine if you came here a couple of times a year, or you just came here once or twice a year, and you wanted to bring back a big set with you, it would be a lot lot cheaper getting it from here than it would be from your local store but again how do you get the bigger boxes on the plane now what i like about the store that it is absolutely crammed full of all of these displays like i said we do go over all of them at the end of the video and they have got some nice bits and pieces dotted around as well um in the actual airport now i did find a older video it wasn't done it wasn't done by myself it just literally popped up on my home feed from a couple of years back before they actually built the calf they had loads and loads of boxes piled up in the actual airport as well so um, they've actually made this slightly smaller but they've added on a little bit more fascia to the shop than what they did about five years ago so it's nice to see that they're always chopping and changing and sort of updating everything that they're going on in this now they have got a full history of the company starting at 1924 and then it looping it all the way around so we will go over everything and i will quickly shout out the dates best as possible so 1924 is where it all began you've got it in the old big old house there then that we do find that house in this playlist so keep your eyes peeled when that gets uploaded 1932 all starts with all the woodwork and then it loops round and down to 1937 
is where they start to make all the different decisions and obviously so on and so forth with all the other dates. So as you read the dates and how the was the original duck, now that original duck is fantastic and you can now buy that set exclusively at the Lego house in Villain. So the airport shop has a completely different exclusive set compared to the ones that they do have at the Lego house. And again, the campus, so if, if you're wondering about the Lego campus set that is out and about and available, that was available only at the Lego campus. Obviously, it was a Lego campus set, but you could only buy it on one day and they do not sell it at that store. So I don't know if they have any other exclusive sets at that campus or anything like that. But it's interesting to try and get around and try and collect all the exclusive sets. Now, this is just a small, a small sort of, tour of the history of the full company as we loop it all the way around but so as you can see now we're coming into 2009 the full history is available at the home of the brick playlist and there's a full lego history vault and we go over all the sets and the full 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 history of the company in massive detail year on year on year decade on decade on decade all the lego sets and everything that gets released so if you're into the history and you want to know more about the lego company fire over to that playlist once this one finishes and you can pick and choose all the other bits and pieces there are plenty of playlists available, so you've got lots of store videos of playlists, you've got Legoland Windsor, Billund, hopefully you've got some from Germany or coming up and further afield as well. So fingers crossed this will be the place to come to for sort of Lego information and how to book your holidays and best places to go and best places to stay. So we will come off this in a second and we will just carry on with all the other Lego sets that are available. Now this store was absolutely roasting so the camera actually starts to overheat so it gets a little bit choppy in the middle parts and then i had to stop for a little bit and then obviously let the camera cool down but it was so 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 hot in here so either they've had a very very busy day or they just didn't have the air conditioning on but as you can see some of the sets are very very popular where they've got certain gaps now when we get around a little bit further into the video you'll notice that all the architecture sets have pretty much disappeared because they are obviously perfect size just to throw into your into your luggage and the fact that you get 20 percent off for just one of them and um, because they're at that correct price point where they're just marked over the 20 percent off mark and they're some of them are quite hard to find and they were clearly very well appreciated because there was hardly any left i have come to this store a couple of times there is another video available of me doing basically the same thing and all these cabinets have completely changed some of them are the same but almost all of them have changed and obviously they've got all the updated stock and everything else like that as well so if there's any sets that you're seeing that you would like to add into your collection then please obviously do let me know in the comments below and like i said before if you've been to this store or if you're thinking of coming to billund and you've got any questions or anything just drop a comment and ask away and i will do my best to let you know and if i've already uploaded a video with the answer in i can just sort of share the link for that video so it gives you sort of a better understanding because we've got lots of videos available from just walking around billund different ways of places to get to to the lego house to the, obviously the theme park all the different hotels what the different accommodations are like and obviously the different stores and everything as well so you have got a a lot to pick from and a lot to see which is nice so as we get round into the lego city section then i think we go into the friends or it's the duplo first then we go into the friends and then we've got some really nice detailed models in the middle they've got all the newer stunt ones out so you've got the lego chicken and everything like that they seem to be selling really really well on the lego store i've only got one of them for i needed a sig fig for somebody mr lego king that's you obviously um but yeah let me know if you picked up any of the other bigger sets to go with the stunts because i've not looked into those and there's that's not something that i would i would pick up so it's duplo next so if you're a duplo fan you've got a lot to pick from and obviously if you've got a little one and your plane's delayed it gives them something to do because the nice thing about this airport is that it is very quiet and it's very, very spacious. So if you head on upstairs, there's lots of tables where you can just get some chairs around, open up a box of Lego, build it, smash it back up, put it back in the box, get on the plane, get yourself home or get yourself going to where it is that you want to be going to. So obviously there is a couple of a couple of different ways to do it. Now, for some reason, I've just thought about it. I didn't film on the way over at the Heathrow airport that we, that we took off from because there wasn't that much of a Lego section but obviously you can do this sort of thing both ways if you're playing and everything's delayed but you can see certain sets are very very popular um, it'd just be interesting if that's literally just the newer sets or if it just comes down to box size or just cost 
it's always I'm always interested in regards to what makes people buy things from certain areas obviously a lot of people will want the exclusive Lego set that we'll be seeing which is the airport which is a beautiful looking set I did manage to pick one of them up a couple of years ago and I do believe they are still a limited run of 10,000 boxes so once you once all of them have gone it'll be very very interesting to know what they will do in its replacement because every year they add a new exclusive set to the lego house so i wonder if they're going to add a, another exclusive set to this airport at some point when the actual airport set disappears so we've just broken the 10 minute mark as you can see they've got some of the more expensive sets as well but you can think just take 20 percent off all of these straight away you don't need to buy one of them you wouldn't have to buy multiple and some of them would easily just go in your backpack or your suitcase depending on if you've got a cabin bag and all that side of stuff but they are very very well stocked with regards to just having a full selection of everything because when I came and uploaded the last video that I did because I think I filmed that around October time and um, that was actually October when I filmed it but didn't get uploaded at the start of the year they were a little bit thin on the ground with certain sets because obviously I would imagine a lot of people were thinking of Christmas and buying a lot of bits and pieces for Christmas so this is probably the most well stocked I've seen this store on my third, maybe fourth visit. So let me know again what you think and how does this actually compare to your local store? Bearing in mind, there's not a single member of staff in here currently either. Um, we run over in a second exactly where you go to pay and everything else like that. So somebody obviously must come in in the morning, stock it all up. They must be there at peak time or maybe over lunch and then they and then they go home so we are getting on a little bit in the evening to be honest i think it's got to be about half seven eight o'clock because the flight wasn't until gone nine and then that got delayed uh, as it did on the way over we had massive delays with our flights for for some reason but it is it is what it is so back to all the brickheads so they've got the new brickheads they've got the spice girls ones so you can see going by the time frame of when this video was filmed that hadn't been out that long and it had already been built up and put into the cabinets as well so it clearly runs like a normal lego store which is obviously very very good and they've got plenty of stock but again some of them where they're in the office like these keychains lots of them missing because obviously they're very very popular with regards to just uh, little gifts on the way home and it's just something that you can get to keep the big ones and the little ones quiet if they're desperate to sort of take something home with them um but again i did not get anything from this shop nor did i actually buy any lego whatsoever over the couple of days that i was here so bearing in mind that all the videos were done over a couple of day period so the all the lego house videos or the legoland 2022 videos they've got all like i said they've got all the shops I've, there's a Lego Castle versus Lego with the normal Legoland Hotel. Went to saw both of those shops as well. Didn't pick up anything. So I was very, very good on this visit. So I was very, very tempted to pick up some of the exclusive sets from the Lego house, but I didn't, but I might. Going on to those exclusive sets, have any of you picked any of those up? Have you picked up the duck? Have you picked up the, um, the power plant or the brick molding machine, shall I say, rather than the power plant? And then the new one that's come out, which is a tribute to the member of staff, which I really, really like the look of that one, because that was the lady that actually ended up designing the train that ended up in Billund. Um, so it's a fantastic story behind that set. And I really like all the artwork and all the boxes. And it does have a nice bit of artwork on the side of the wall, saying that there is obviously going to be another set coming in 2023. So I guess they must be coming out every January, like the modular. So that's just a good excuse to come back every year and pick one of them up because they are out for a couple of years so it's not like you've got to queue up and get them straight away there they're out for a good while they're not a limited run whereas this exclusive set in this store it is obviously it is a limited it is a limited edition run of just 10,000 units I do believe I think that's what it said in the inside of the box which I've still got and I've built the set as well and put it on display so um, moving on to all the Star Wars stuff if you're a Star Wars fan again you spoil and then we go on to the friends section so we are still looping around the outside. You can see they've got all the, the point of sale for new for 2022 and everything up there. Some of the friend sets I think look really good, but I've never bought any. Um, I think they work really, really well with the guys to putting them in to your sort of Lego theme park bits and pieces. If you're the kind of person that have done that, again, what sets have you got and let us know. 
but more importantly looking at this video and looking at maybe some of the other videos that are available within the playlists would you be tempted to come to Billund? it's a nice easy flight from the uk especially obviously if you're watching from america or canada it's a little bit further afield but if you are thinking of coming to london you could easily just come here for a night you could easily come and land first thing in the morning you could spend the day at the Lego house on the day that you land, or the second day, the first day you could just look around, you could get to every single Lego shop, you could pick up some of the exclusive sets, then you could just fly back to Windsor and then just carry on. So that is something to think of because from Windsor to Billund currently, flying with Ryanair, but this is with no luggage, mind, so obviously you'll need a bag to bring the Lego sets home with. Currently, on, as I'm doing this voiceover on the 20th of May, it is only £20 return. So you could go today for 20 quid return and that is as simple as that. So for people from the UK, it's easy to get to. Um, if you're further afield, it's obviously not. But if you are from the States and you're watching this but and you would like some sets, you just drop us a message. I can always, when I go over next time, maybe try and pick up some of them and then just send them over to you guys. That's absolutely no problem. Happy to help everybody best as possible because I know some people are massive collectors and you just physically can not get hold of some of the sets. So just let us know if there's anything I can do to help you. Right, we're moving on to all the new um, Jurassic World stuff. Now, I didn't see any of these sets or nor did I pay any attention to any of these sets until I actually came into this store um, because I have filmed, obviously, all the other stores as well. I just didn't spot them until I was looking around the store before I started to film. I didn't realize how many of them are out so far. So some of them look are under the price point that you need and some of them are absolutely smack on the price point that you need so maybe what they've done is people are buying two of them just to get the 20 percent off and that's why there's hardly any of them there and again you've got the everything is awesome set just underneath all the architecture sets and then we loop it around and we've got some of the bigger sets which is the birds of prey and then i think i already had a look at some of the stadiums that is obviously the new t-rex breakout as well which is another one which has just just recently come out but again lots of spaces obviously some very very popular sets now moving on to what you guys wanted to see there's a little glimpse of where it is just underneath before we have a look at the model now the reason why i'm doing this is the camera is about to overheat so i thought what we can do is we can have a quick look at this i can take the battery out because it was absolutely a bit roasty toasty and then we come straight back down so that's this is now five minutes on magic and now this is the exclusive airport set, nice and simple, perfect size just to get back home with you. Artwork on the box is lovely uh, on the front and back, and it's a really nice looking set, I think. It's a good build as well, I like how the, how the planes are just sort of on the back, and it just mimics the shape of this actual airport. It's a nice tiny, tiny airport, it's got all the planes and everything on the back, you've got the terminal entrances on the front, and then you've got all the nice greenery and everything around it. So I think it's a really nice set. And if you put that with all your architecture sets and you put all the base, you put the tiles on the base plates and loop all around and put your paths and things, I think it would work really, really nice. And it sort of goes hand in hand with all the other bits and pieces. But you can see how many of them are still available. And obviously they still keep plowing them on top of each other. But it's an easy snatch and grab and people will end up getting two of those. Now, we are slowly, slowly starting to run out of time with regards to me talking because we're about to see everything. So I'm going to start to wrap it up. But if you can like it, subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So how you pay is you take it over to the desk in the other behind it, basically. So you go into the main airport and you go to the main shop that is on the right hand on the right hand side in the duty free not the wh smith that's in front and then you just join the queue and pay for it there so it's very very trustworthy people um, and that's what everybody else was doing so it's nice and simple you just take it over and that's where you pay from so guys hopefully hopefully you find this entertaining and useful and if there is anything i can help you with just let us know in the comments below and i'll be happy to help and share any history of the company with you, any sets that are available and everything else like that. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to now leave you to all of these models in the airport and then have a good look at everything else as well. So let us know what your favourite ones are in the comments below. But that's it. So guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I hope to get to the next one. ta -da.
Ja, ich schon, das ist das, das ist der Name. Ja? Aber die ist schon nicht, man ist nicht.